Good day, listeners. This is John with the Glowing Skin Podcast. Have you heard about the skincare trend of red light therapy? Some claim it can reduce wrinkles, fade acne scars, and boost collagen production. But how do you actually incorporate it into your daily routine? Let me give you a quick rundown of the basics. Red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, exposes the skin to wavelengths of red and near-infrared light. Clinical studies show this can stimulate fibroblasts, the cells responsible for collagen production. It may also diminish inflammation and promote faster healing. The light supposedly works its magic from the outside in, rather than penetrating very deep. Sounds promising, but how do you use it effectively? As with any new skincare step, it's important to start slowly and listen to your skin. My top tip would be, don't go overboard from day one. If your face feels warm or irritated, take a break. You want this to be a pleasant, not painful experience. The article recommends assessing your own skin type. Is it dry, oily, sensitive, etc.? This will determine how often you use the light therapy and what other products to pair it with. For example, dry skin folks should apply a hydrating serum beforehand to seal in moisture. Oily skin may benefit from more frequent, shorter sessions to fight breakouts. Once you've determined your skin profile, it's time to build it into the routine step by step. After cleansing, apply your red light therapy mask or device as directed by the manufacturer. Most recommend holding it a few inches from the skin for 10 to 20 minutes, two to four times per week. Easy peasy. But wait, there's more. What comes after the light treatment? At this point, carry on with your regular skin care as normal. Slather on serums, creams, whatever your usual lineup is. Don't forget SPF during the day either, as red light doesn't offer UV protection on its own. Stick with it for best results. Consistency is queen in the skincare world. It can take a few weeks to see visible effects, so have patience. Follow the protocol and tweak as needed based on your skin's feedback. Over time, with regular use, red light therapy may deliver smoother, brighter, and more youthful looking skin. Well, listeners, I hope this short podcast helped demystify how to smoothly add red light therapy into your skincare routine. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Glowing Skin Podcast with me, your host, John. Tune in next time for more tips to get that glow.